Hey guys, so now that we just finished Castle Morn and the Leona Misbegotten and we're all done with the Weeping Peninsula here, we're going to move on to Lakes of the Lyurnia. And same with Limgrave and the Weeping Peninsula, I'm not going to do everything in this giant region because, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty massive. But I will be doing some select caves, dungeons, etc, etc, and of course the main boss. We're going to start off here with going to this cave to initiate an NPC questline. And of all the NPC questlines, I like to initiate this one first because the reward is pretty substantial. It's an ancient somber smithing stone. So, But the, the catch is you have to initiate it early in a playthrough. Because if you hit a certain uh, trigger point, you will not be able to start it, and you'll miss out on the reward. So, alright, where is it? The opening to the cave is around here somewhere. Okay, here it is, yeah. Lakeside Crystal Cave, yeah, this is what it is. Let's get rid of that marker point. There's an Arteria Leaf off to the right hand side here. And same with the St. Trina Lilies, I do always like to pick up the Arteria Leaf because it's it's not too substantial on its own, um, but what it's crafted in, of course, is where its value lies. And the Arteria Leaf, um, I like to use it anyway for the Blood Boil Aromatic. And what that does is it gives you a massive boost to damage and defense for, I believe, a minute, so very useful. Right, so the Lakeside Crystal Cave. All you gotta do is just drop down here. There are some enemies over there, but we're not gonna deal with them. I will pick up some of this Crystal Cave Moss, though. Just because it's in the way. I forgot what its use is for. There's some soft cotton on the edge here. And what soft cotton does is you'll consume it and it will either reduce or outright like negate any fall damage. I uh, personally never used it. Okay, so I did want to take care of those snails because we do need to stop and take a second to buff up here. Right, okay, Bloodhound Knight done. And that was it for the little mini boss section of the cave. It'll spit us out here on this alcove. St. Trinalily. Like I always say, that's one more sleep pot. Now, there's one other item. I believe it's a stone sword key. Nope, rune arc. Okay, cool. Even better. Well, I guess not for this playthrough, because I won't be using any great runes, but on a normal playthrough, I'd say a rune arc is probably the best um, item to find in the world. Now, this is the NPC that I wanted to start. So before we talk to that NPC, I did forget something very important. You have to have an item in order to be able to actually talk to her. So before we do initiate her, we're going to go pick it up. And some of you will already know what I'm talking about. But for you that don't, it's just right over here on the edge of the Lyurnia section of the map. Yeah, so not only is this a hidden cave, a missable quest, but to even initiate the quest, you have to get a secret item. So, typical Souls game jumping through a whole bunch of hoops just to do one thing. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll 
progress through here. There's some giant crabs, so careful. We can get rid of the marker now. It's just up here. Yep, village of the Albanorx. Now, Albanorx, you're gonna find that they're a persisting like species in the uh, Elden Ring. Over here is important to pick up the larval tier. That will grant you access to respec. Now, of course, we're not going to use it much in this playthrough, or at all, but for a regular playthrough, it is important. I believe there's only 17 or so in a playthrough, so they are a limited item, and they do limit your respecs per game. So you'll have to go into New Game Plus if you do want more. Now watch out, because here is a perfumer. Now these guys fucking suck on level 1 because of their... Well, it doesn't help that I missed right there, but... Oh, great, and he healed. Because of that attack. It comes out really quick, and... Oh, he just used a Blood Bowl Aromatic. Just the thing I was talking about. Right, so... Because of their fire attack, they're really quick. I did not want to aggro this guy. Okay, yeah, so a single enemy can give you a bit of trouble if you're not careful. Now. Please no. Dear me. I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait then. Well, <laughs> oh, I will finish. The curse, man, I beg you. You must keep it. And if you should, then please. Right, so you hit that pot, turns into a guy, you get an item. <laughs> Classic souls. Okay. So, after collecting the item, which I'll show here. Halig Tree Secret Medallion, the right side. Join medallions to operate Grand Lift of Rolled. Now, after you find the pot, get the guy, or get the item from the guy, you come back to the NPC. Foul tarnished. I told the old hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from Was my other half not enough? So, usually she opens up like that, kind of rude. But, if you have the medallion in your inventory, then you can go ahead and choose show the secret medallion option. Oh. So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. Yeah, entrusted. <laughs> then I have no choice. But let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Al my apologies for I presume the worst. I hope that you will Yeah. Okay, Latena, I guess we can try again. Hmm. Would you consider doing me a grimace go back? There is something I must do. Will you show me the way? If you accept of the whereabouts of the medallion. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion in Castle Soul. Thank you kindly. I always laugh when I hear that phrase in games because it reminds me of Bioshock. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. I will go with the tarnished. Forgive me, Lobo. So Latena disappears. You'll get her as a summon. And when you progress far enough into the main campaign, you'll meet her again, and you'll be rewarded with a ancient somber dragon smithing stone. So yeah, that's why I always like to do the Lakeside Crystal Cave at the start of any playthrough. Back at the start here. I did want to go off to the right hand side and unlock the, uh, I forgot what highway it's called, but just this road up here. It leads off to the side of Stormvale Castle. 
and it was the kind of secret entrance we could have took or we could have taken if we wanted to completely bypass all of Stormvale. There's some marionette soldiers. The guys wielding the bows are so annoying. Okay, so it's off to the ledge. Um, I do think we have to go back. I didn't even discover this on my first playthrough. Yeah, I, I think I missed... It's just down there. I think I missed two or three catacombs on my first playthrough. I was pretty diligent in kind of scouring every corner, but yeah. With a game as massive as Elden Ring, you're bound to miss something on your first playthrough, even if you're, you're combing everything you possibly can. So, And I mean, even still, I've probably missed at least one or two things more so yeah it's one of those games that years into the future people are going to be finding new tidbits about yep okay so this is the right way there are going to be those little black colored imp guys <laughs> That's, I didn't mean it like that um, black clothed imp guys you know what I'm talking about Here we go. <coughs> Cliff bottom catacombs. So these guys are imps, I'm pretty sure. Yep. <laughs> Imagine. See, and that is why you always send the elevator back up, because you will die, especially on a low-level playthrough. I'm playing like an amateur right now. <laughs> Although, since I did send the elevator back down and not bring it up, that does give us an opportunity to get this grave wart. Right. Jumped behind the thing. Perfect. You know, I might change my Uchikatana from fire to magic because the imps are weak to magic. God, they're so fucking annoying. I can hear the little paws crawling and pitter-pattering on the... Uh, whatever this is called. Oh, these guys are worse. The, uh, the forked greatsword-wielding ones. Those guys have, like, really good poise and almost no stance break. So my first playthrough, I thought that there may be an invisible wall. But, nah. 
Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, so as soon as you hear that plate, like, you could hear, um, as I stepped over it, you could faintly hear a plate lowering. As soon as you hear that, you want to either get to the left or right side, because... Ah, oh, shit. Nice miss. <laughs> um, you want to get to the left or right side, because uh, arrows will fire either in front of you or behind you. So, yeah. Just a tip. Now, there's a stone sword key door up here. Oh, shit, and an omen. Can I backstab you? I can. Okay, cool. Alright, so some of the larger enemies you are, fuck, able to backstab. But, of course, some you're not. And it's kind of arbitrary which ones you are, which ones you're not. So, I always forget. Right, omens, at a low level, they're manageable. But, at higher levels, they will fuck up your shit. Now, as you saw, there's a guy throwing magic bombs. Two guys, actually. So bait them into the throw, and then go in close for melee. How the fuck did he still hit me? He was, like, on the floor in midair. Whatever. Yeah, so. And if you wear headphones, you can really pay attention to audio cues. Like, you can hear omen enemies around the map, just kind of like breathing. Um, so, imps as well. Nox Mirror Helm. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's something. And then check around corners. Yep. You see, I... I, I barely heard that. No, I heard it and then barely, fuck, got out of range in time. Fuck! <laughs> I say that and then immediately back up. Okay, yeah, so that's actually a good demonstration. The traps do reset, so even if you trigger them once, they'll reset, and uh, you can trigger them again, and as you saw, I evaded them once, but, you know, you can get hit on the second run, so always be careful. I forgot what is around here. You know what? It's not even worth it. I'm not dealing with you guys. <laughs> fuck you. I don't give a fuck who's in there. Man, they're still following me. Yeah, so as you see, the magic actually killed that guy. These guys are weak to magic damage. So, yeah, we're not going to bother with them. We're just going to continue. Oh, another omen. Wait for him to get up. Okay, and it just didn't want to... Ah, great. Ooh, nice. Man, one-shot me. With a grab, no less. Fuck you. Alright, yeah, let's change the infusion on this. You know, I just remembered, um, I don't have a magic infusion. Great, that's, okay, I gotta go find one of those. Yeah, so, you have to either have a magic-based Ash of War, or the, what do you call it, like, magic, uh, Gunstone Blade to do that, so, can't always do that. Man, these goddamn fucks are so annoying. God damn. Yeah, so really, if you don't stun lock that guy before he does anything, he will just one shot you. Especially on a low level playthrough. So, yep, gotta remember that's. Nice, okay. Yeah. Eh, 
There we go. Okay, yeah. So, see if they're standing like that. Um, you can try and just hit them as soon as they get up. All right, let's get our runes back. Now, can we get the backstab, please? No, we can't. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck that didn't trigger the backstab. Man was just standing there like a statue. Nah! Get the fuck away from me. There we go. Okay. Now, what is the way forward? Any invisible walls here? Fuck, are you kidding me? I forgot how to do this. <laughs> or am I just blind and can't see the way? Now remember, there are guys with the magic things, so you gotta be careful to get out of their line of sight before you take on this guy. Nice. Okay, where the fuck is the way forward? Hmm. Wouldn't be in here. Yeah, it's just a dead end. Nice, okay. I love instantly getting backstabs on them. Hmm, strange. Will they follow me? Thinking those guys are still alive. Hmm. Oh, I see. Wait, no, this looks like a dead end. Man, these guys are everywhere. Yeah, this is one of the catacombs I don't remember how to do. No, that's a that's a dead end. That guy sees me. Unless Oh, I'm actually retarded. You just fall down. <laughs> wow. Classic. Okay, so omen right there. Real careful. Get the backstab before he even gets up. Get off the charge attack, and he's done. Perfect. Okay. Continuing on here. Yes, yeah, so even for someone like me who's played this game in and out, these guys are mazes. Now, as you can see, look. Even before going forward, you can see the three holes in the wall. I'll get a little bit closer. You can see those three holes right there, right? That means you know that there's a pressure plate somewhere around here. Along with an omen. See, there it is. Okay. So, he stopped. He does... He doesn't see me, but he, he knows that there's something here. So, we're going to attempt to backstab him. But he could, you know, just have some bullshit tracking and notice me. Nice. Okay. Right, so still check for pressure plates because even though there's one, you guys know from software or tricksters, there could be two. So, yeah. Kind of like if you're looking out for the first one, you miss the second one type of thing. I would do that <laughs> if I were a game dev. But yeah. 
So ascending up this ladder, we're almost done here. Because I do remember this part. It's just tricky getting to it. So once again, backstab. You see, he did kind of move before we initiated the backstab. So he, he noticed something. Um, I think they're just coded to, to move if uh, the player... Fuck. Has any movement, like, in a certain, you know, radius of their their model. Cool. Right, there's a lever. And you always do want to get rid of that message. If you, like, and get by get rid of, I mean um, press X on your controller or whatever the fuck the equivalent for Xbox is. And you may have noticed I have Xbox inputs, but... I am using a PlayStation controller, so, yeah, on PC. Um, I think we're good in terms of stuff. And the reason you want to get rid of that message as soon as you pull the lever is as long as the message is displayed on your screen, you won't be able to dodge or anything, so you do want to get rid of it as soon as possible. Yeah, so, I also forgot which boss is in here. But, lucky for me, we will find out right now. Oh, great. Another fucking watchdog cat. <laughs> Ooh, what a juicy one-shot that was. Fucking asshole. Well, at least our health and flasks are restored I hate how they put two enemies right before the door, so unless you like no hit them, you have to waste a flask. Or you know, just be good at the game. <laughs> Which I am not. Okay, so now we know, when he charges up in the air and does the blue light, get the fuck out of dodge. Oh, and I do want to get my runes back, I guess. Ooh, okay, yeah, that, that makes total sense. You see that? He was going... Ah, oh, shit. He was going in, like, at a constant speed, but then he sped up the turn. I almost fucking went in there again. Okay, nice. But yeah, I mean, it's just little bullshit like that that annoys me. It's like if an attack has a constant speed, but if the, the boss recognizes the players at a certain position, it'll speed up just to hit them. It's like, dude, come on. Yeah, anyways, cliff bottom catacombs. 